All right, I'm supposed to be doing some sort of channel intro thing, so I'll tell you a little about me. Uh, we, our family of, uh, I have seven people in my household. I have me and my wife and our four kids plus my dad who lives with us. Uh, we like outdoors things. We like fixing things. We like reworking things. We like solving problems. So, as a sort of an intro here, I want to point out a list of some of my favorite things. So we have the ubiquitous uh, Swiss Army knife and all the Swiss Army knives. I know that uh, Winger got absorbed by Victorinox and Winger's going away, but um, I've always been partial to the Victorinox uh, brand anyway. But uh, you know, essentially every, except this one, this is actually, this is a good knife, but this is when they had a problem with their supplier and they didn't have the uh, glass lens. They have this total plastic you know, basically this is a, a failing of their supplier that they went with this total plastic thing instead of the normal gray plastic with the glass insert. So that's sort of disappointing. But um, other than that, great uh, little Swiss Army knife. And I will point out to this, I try to buy these, all my knives that have corkscrews. I'll go out to eBay and purchase this fine flathead uh, um, screwdriver. And if you live in Western Civ or have glasses or friends with the glasses that right there is worth the expense and you'll have it with you more than you would necessarily a repair kit so that's one of my favorite things this is a martini knife good finish uh, uh, knife company um, sort of a yeah, scandy grind of course on the blade and then uh, you know sort of a, what a more knife would um, look like except uh, you've got a machined uh, spine here that is right angles, really sharp, really good for uh, uh, getting sparks off of a ferro rod. And this is uh, wrapped with uh, 100 feet or so of zingit, which will support 200 plus pounds. Uh, I think it's a Dyneema or Spectra. Um, and then back wrapped here is a magnesium file for fire starter. So this in itself is a good little survival knife. One of my favorite knives of all times is uh, this carpenter's knife made by Hemo Rosselli in uh, Finland. Again, it's sort of a Mora pattern, uh, West Scandinavian, Laplander pattern uh, knife. Extremely sharp, extremely durable, well worth it. Carbon steel blade, another favorite. Really, my favorite knife um, is this uh, Hemo Rosselli. Uh, hunter, so it's very primitive looking. I gave one away, one away as a gift, and almost regret giving it away. It was such a great knife, um, but uh, this is the only one like this I have now. But curly birch um, handle, uh, really good aggressive uh, skin and blade, not skin and blade, hunting blade. Let's see what we have here, and it's um, four inch blade. Well worth it. All right, now high value. So I'm all for stuff that is high quality and um, reasonable because otherwise I wouldn't have it. You know, there's seven mouths to feed, including mine in our house. So everything that I do, every uh, expenditure, independent expenditure I make, um, there's six other people competing for those dollars. So, uh, you know, we, um, even in this current economy, uh, have to make sure that we're not overly overtly wasteful if we can so this is as you see a Husqvarna small forest axe and it's got a um, it's got a 20 let's go in there see if you can see that it's got a 26 inch handle and really I haven't used this at all I just got this recently I put three coats of um, oil linseed oil on the handle and other than that then I haven't done anything with it but hopefully that will be something for another video. But you can see it says hand forged, uh, made in Sweden. And it's got the Husqvarna uh, little symbol there. Now, Husqvarna does not make um, axes. So another company makes that ax head. And um, that other company is, uh, how about this, has been rumored to be Wetterlings. Uh, so that's a good thing. So you can pick up one of these uh, Husqvarna. I bought this from Bailey's Arbor Supply in California. Bailey'sOnline.com or Bailey's.com is their uh, 
web address and I might put that in the, in the description. Um, but it's rumored that a number of Swedish companies have made those axe heads and all of them high quality except this cost sixty dollars. Can't beat with beat that. So that's um, some of my favorite things here. I'll show you this too. This is another if you go look at some of the uh, videos, we're big into hammock camping, or at least I am. Um, that is some Dyneema uh, made by a company called Samson Rope Company, and that's Amsteel Blue. And it, even in the small diameter, let's see what, see if we can get a, a diameter here. It looks like, but I'm squishing it flat, so it looks like it's three and a half millimeters that this Dyneema um, and when it when you put load on it it actually shrinks it tightens up the braid um, will hold 1600 pounds so this is what I use for hammock suspension and this is just a ball I like dealing with it in these uh, in this uh, type configuration it's easier for me but um, high quality stuff uh, 20 cents a foot 23 cents a foot uh, not much stretch well worth it another high quality thing and I hope that if you stick around for some of the other videos if you look at uh, poke around in the channel that you will find some of the stuff um, that has some use I have gotten received tons and tons and and not to uh, overemphasize this, tons of benefit from uh, YouTube videos whether it was uh, learning to change the brake pads on my car or uh, replacing the uh, heating element and belt on a clothes dryer um, the, to most of the bushcraft stuff that I do almost everything um, is either sourced from the internet or from YouTube so um, I hope that uh, these handful of videos these uh, I think I have like 25 or 30 videos now that uh, something in them is of value to you and that you can um, benefit from watching them maybe thinking of something you've not thought of before or maybe finding a source that you didn't know about but this uh, great little axe I think so far we'll test it a little bit and uh, that will be a subject for another video so thanks a lot and uh, poke around enjoy the uh, rest of the videos